I recently posted this video and it has been doing fairly well for me. So I wanted to make a part two of this video and showing you how I create this size chart in Canva. Let's get straight into the video and go onto my computer. Okay, so now that we are on Canva, I am going to click create design and I am going to custom size and do 2,700 by 2,025 pixels. I found that looks and works out best for me. I'm going to start out with a white canvas and I am not going to be going into any of their templates or even getting any ideas from their templates because Canva does prohibit that. I always recommend to read their terms and policies. It's very important. I am going to start out with a neutral background. Neutral does sell really well for me. And I am going to try to find maybe like a light gray, something that is bright because Etsy really does like bright listings. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add a shape because shapes also sell really well for me. And a rectangle just ultimately is kind of a staple in my shop. I always have the rectangles kind of behind the size chart. I am turning down the transparency so you can kind of see that gray through the white so the white is not as bold. When you are choosing a font, you want to A, not select any Canva Pro elements because again, you can't do that. And then B, you wanna think of fonts that your customers are going to like. So when I am thinking of fonts, I have always said this in my Etsy shop, that simple does sell. So I want to find a font that is very simple, aka simple selling. And also I want to make sure I'm not getting too creative because sometimes when I get really creative and I'm like, oh yes, this is going to sell, this looks great. Those are the ones that end up flopping and staying, I don't know, rent free on my Etsy shop and they will get renewed and just ultimately not result in any sales. I do want to apologize for talking so fast in this video so far and that it's just because I have so much information to get out there in such a little time. So sorry about how fast I'm talking. I hope you guys are still able to understand and comprehend it all. There are two different methods on how you can make a table for the actual size chart. So the first method is by just opening a text and then doing small, medium, large like this. The second method you could do is by going into elements and selecting or typing in tables and some tables will come up and you can use those. I have been going back and forth between using the text box or using the tables. Right now I'm majority using just the text box and it has been selling really well for me but if you were to go on to Etsy and look up other listings a lot of them use tables. For this video's sake, I'm going to be using the text box method because that is what I used in the original size chart. After I have done the small, medium, large, just got the sizes out there, I'm going to copy and paste it three times because we want to have three sections for the size, the length, and the chest. So the chest you could either do with or chest. I kind of go back and forth and see what my customers want. I have personally not seen any, like, I've not seen people more attracted to one or the other. So for me, I kind of just maybe make one with width and one with chest. I don't know, I'm seeing, I'm trying, I'm doing the trial and error kind of method right now, seeing what sells, what doesn't sell. And then once I get all of that information, I'm gonna double down, quadruple down. That's my strategy right now. So I have done that and now I need to go in and fill in all of the actual lengths. So like the numbers in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be back. Okay, so I filled that all in and now I'm just going to readjust, make sure it all looks kind of proportionate because sometimes I like to really cram all of the words in a small space. So what I will go ahead and do is like make the um, line spacing a little bit bigger. So the size, medium, large, all of those different lines are kind of farther apart from each other and they're not all squished together. I added the mock-up photo and now I want to go find an arrow because when you are showing them the size or the size of the chest and the width, you want an arrow that is going to go fully through the chest area and fully through the length area. So I'm going to grab that 
that arrow and kind of drag it down and then I also want to put an arrow on each side and kind of make the I think it's called the weight of the line a little bit less the weight is just how thick the line is and then I will go in and find the exact same arrow on both sides and just copy and paste that and rotate it to the other way and make it smaller. The last thing that I need to go ahead and do is make some text box that say chest and length so when our customers look at the size chart they know for exact that one that line is the chest and then the up and down is the length so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will be all done Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of content, give it a big like. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.